Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So today let's talk about data connectors. Up until now, we've just seen one data connector, which was getting our data set from a CSV file. But there are a plethora of options that are available to you when using Power BI. And we'll go through a couple of them, but more importantly, we will see one specific option which will be a game changer for you to automate your data collation efforts okay so let me just quickly go through the get data tab where we have all those data connectors and see what all options do we have available as of now when you click on this get data tab you will see some common data sources available to you, including excel workbook uh, text csv sql server and some others right but there are more data connectors available to you. So just click on this more option and this will give you a list of connectors that are available, right? But for today, what we're going to specifically concentrate is on one option, which is in your file tab and this, that's called folder. If you are a Power BI user, you've likely encountered the option to use a folder data connector. While this may seem like a minor feature, but it can be a game changer for your data analysis and reporting because one of its biggest benefit is the ability to automate data refresh by connecting to a folder that contains your data files. Power BI will automatically refresh your data whenever a new file is added or existing file is updated. This saves you the time and effort of manually refreshing your data and ensuring that your reports are always up to date. So enough with the talk, let me just quickly get into Power BI Dex and show you live how this is done. So I'm going to go to this file tab in get data and click on this folder option and click on connect. Once I click that, it will ask you for your folder path where the data set exists. Okay, so now I have selected my folder path and I'm going to press OK. It gives you a preview of the data set that you are about to load. So what I want to do is I want to not just load it, but I want to combine all of those data together. Okay. So the data set that I have is a randomly generated data uh, of a few products and its sales, right? So I want all of those data to be collated together in a single table. So what I'll do is in order to do that, I'll just in this preview tab, click on combine and click on combine and load. I don't want to make any changes to my current data. So that's why I'm not selecting combine and transform data. I just want to load it. So combine and load. So when I press combine and load, it gives you a prompt of the uh, data that exists in those sheets. I'm going to press sheet one. This is where my data set is. It's just a preview of the first file. And you need to ensure that all of your data is uniform in terms of structure, right? Which means the number of columns that you have in your data set and the place where you have you know positioned your data set should be the same in all your workbooks so that it's easier for power bi to fetch that data set right so in my case all my files have the data placed in sheet one and starting from range a1 okay i'm gonna press ok here and this will load my data so as you see my data is loaded now okay and if I show you my data set, I had five files in here, which it has completely loaded, right? And if I just show you the data, I have five files and it's showing me all those file names here in this source name, right? And I have five products here, right? But what if in future I have an additional file or, or there's a change in the existing file, what happens then? Because we have used the folder option, whatever file that I place in this folder, that will get automatically refreshed when I refresh data set in your Power BI. Okay. So for an example, I'm going to place a sixth file in this folder with an additional product. Okay. And let's see what happens in Power BI. All I have to do is just click on this refresh button. It's connecting my data set. It has refreshed my data set now and let's go to the data tab and see how many source names do we have. As you see, the sixth item has been automatically added and the new product F 
has been added here as well right so which means now going forward in that particular folder whatever data set that i update or add it will automatically get refreshed whenever i click on refresh in power bi isn't that cool with this you can easily automate your data collation activities with just few clicks now an additional tip right now i have connected my local folder with power bi but you can also connect a one drive folder with power bi which will help you collaborate with your team members and people can update or input data into that folder and your power bi report will automatically accommodate that new data set into your report and show you the results accordingly so that's it for today thank you so much for watching please do remember to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one